Hey everybody, Ronaldo Offerman here. If you're watching this video, then you probably have a fish tank and you just set it up, put the fish in there and started doing some research and you're like, crap, you're not supposed to put the fish in the same day? No. And if you don't understand why, please watch the video in the description below. It's gonna talk about the nitrification cycle. Long story short, your water is not ready. You're gonna kill your fish. The pet store might have told you to run your water for 24 hours, wrong. They may have told you just dump this bottle of chemical in there, you'll be fine, wrong. They may say here's an instant cycle, wrong. All of it is wrong, you're gonna kill your fish. Doesn't mean you send them back or whatnot, but first watch the video down below, then hit pause or unpause or whatnot, and then let's talk about how to keep your fish alive during the cycling process. All right, so hopefully you paused, you watched the other video, and you're freaking out because you've got a brand new tank, fish, and a filter that's hardly established. That's fine. Make sure you supercharge your filter like I mentioned, and now let's talk about what you can do. Well, you put your fish in there, and uh, one of two things happen. Either A, they told you you can just run to water for a bit, you'll be fine, which I already told you was wrong, and uh, the video hopefully explained to you why, or they said, oh, well, dump this bacteria and you're there. Eh, that's still wrong. So here's what you need to do. As I mentioned, you need some sort of ammonia source. Your ammonia source is now gonna be your fish, but you still need bacteria and lots of it. Now that there's fish in there, when do you make that bacteria grow up, move to, move to college, graduate and get a job really darn fast. So how do you do that? Well, you got your fish, you're gonna dump, just dump that whole thing of bacteria in there. Just like I mentioned in the last video, dump it all in. If you bought an itty bitty bottle for a big tank, you're gonna go get yourself a bigger bottle. I recommend Seacom Stability, the standard bottle about that size, you're good. The little bottle like this, the Fritz 7, you're good, just dump it all in, you'll be fine. Your water may get a little cloudy like I mentioned in the last video, but you're good. So the next thing that you're going to need is Prime. Now Prime is labeled as a dechlorinator and you may already have a dechlorinator and that's great. You're gonna throw that trash away because if it's not Prime, it's not worth it. And I'll explain why in just a second. Before we talk about Prime as the dechlorinator, I wanna talk to you about what Prime's gonna do for that cycling process. This is going to detoxify, not remove, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. So what this means is that while your fish are pooping, peeing, eating food, and all that's rotting in there, that ammonia builds up. The bacteria is gonna to try to work in that ammonia as fast as it can, but it's not gonna be able to keep up for a while until it grows fast enough. So this is going to detoxify it, but it's not going to remove it nothing really does remove it, which is good because you want that bacteria to start eating it. But this is gonna keep your fish from getting hurt. I've done this before, uh, we've had some issues with some ponds, pour this in and we're good. So you're gonna follow the instructions. It's basically 0.1 milliliters per gallon. So get yourself one of these, right? So you put 0.1 milliliters, if you've got a 55 gallon, that's 5.5 milliliters. If you've got a 10 gallon, that's one milliliter. Do that for about seven to 14 days every single day. So you want plenty of aeration. And yes, my lights just came back on. But you want plenty of aeration. That's your bubble, your bubblers, your filter. And why is that? Because while Prime does its magic, it does knock some of the oxygen out of the water. So you just wanna make sure there's plenty of aeration to keep that oxygen flowing and let Prime do its job. So you do that for about seven or 14 days and then you test your, test your water daily for ammonia. And as long as that ammonia doesn't go up high, you're good. I recommend water changes anywhere from three to every seven days. As long as you're using the Prime, technically you're okay, but why have too much of a bad thing in there like your ammonia nitrite? For your ammonia, get yourself ammonia alert. This guy is great because it tells you in real time where your dangerous ammonia levels are at. You can see the mine is safe. Now. Just because it says safe does not mean you don't do water changes. Because remember, you've got those nitrites that are coming. And luckily Prime will also detoxify the nitrites, but don't risk it. You still wanna do water changes. In about seven to 14 days, get your water tested. Either get a test kit or have your a trusted fish store do it for you. Make sure your ammonia is at zero and your nitrites are at zero. Your nitrates should be 20 higher, whatever. Once you see nitrates, but zero ammonia and zero nitrites, your tank is cycled and you can stop dosing prime. Now, don't throw this away and you'll see why I've got this big old bottle here because this is also a dechlorinator. It's way better than your other dechlorinator. It does a better job, really. It does a much faster job, but it lasts you forever. 
Now I've got, just in this room alone, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, 10 for the pond. So I've got about 10, 11 freshwater tanks that all use this. This is a half gallon that I bought a year and a half, actually two years ago now. It's still pretty full. Well, I guess you can't see how weight it is, but it's right around here last time I checked it. This stuff will last you forever. I don't recommend buying a bottle that big, but most fish stores will have like the bottles that are like this, they're like 17, 18 bucks. That sucker is gonna last you about two to three years where the water changes. What about when it expires? It doesn't expire, you're good. So in a nutshell, get prime, get good bacteria like Fritz 7 or Seachem Stability in a pinch. You can do the API quick start, just dump the whole bottle in, let it get to work, but keep dosing prime until those levels are perfect. And again, plenty of aeration, that's the most important part. And you may get some people, oh, I've done this before multiple times, my God, I can tell you how many times I've heard this. I've done this multiple times, I've never had my fish hurt. Well, you know what, your fish don't tell you if they're in pain or not. But just because they don't die doesn't mean they're not suffering or you didn't cut their lives short. These are animals just like you and I, so why would you make them suffer? Do things the right way. Unfortunately, if you're watching this video, that means the pet store or somebody suckered you into doing a tank and fish at the same time, and that's fine. We all learn from this way, but the important part is that you make things right as quickly as possible, and this is the best way to do it. Another way that you can is, again, if you watched the previous video, I talked about supercharging your filter. Well, one of the things that you can do is you can go to a trusted fish store or find somebody else with a tank that has plenty of spare biomedia, meaning all that bacteria with the little sponges inside their tank and buy some from them, slap it in your filter and you have an instant cycle ready to go and you could probably skip all this depending on the size of the filter. All of my tanks have extra filters, way more than what I need because if I need to move that to a new tank or somebody needs it, I can give it to them and you're good to go. But I would still throw some bacteria and do prime for the first couple of days just to be safe. Anyhow, I hope that helps you out. If it's a little confusing as far as the science behind it, I will not wanna say just trust me because I'm just a random guy on YouTube and you never want to do that to anybody, but you trust it, a salesperson. So why not trust a person that's not getting paid? But in all seriousness, do it this way. I promise you I helped a lot of people this way. And so far, no fish loss. Sorry guys, now they're mad at me. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Have a good night and God bless.